This week, we take you to the lighting of the Orlando Eye. And we'll also head back to school with the new Sea Lion High show at SeaWorld. Plus the latest theme park news and more coming at you right, right now. now. This week's show is brought to you by MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for Disney World, Universal, and all your vacation planning needs. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MEITravel.com. Undercover Tourist is our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Florida and California theme parks and attractions. For the best deals and planning tips, go to UndercoverTourist.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Elisa. Welcome back, Elisa. Good to have you back Thank here. Thank you. It's good to be back. Now, um, you missed Megacon while you were gone. I know. We need to get you out there. I know. Some One year, eventually. How was it? What was your favorite part? I want to know all about it. Okay. Uh, well, I will <laughs> say next year it's going to be four days instead of three days. So oh. Extra day for you to get you out there. It was great. It was the, really the first time that I've ever cosplayed at a convention before. We, uh, I talked about it in the show. Favorite day was when we cosplayed as Cosmo, Wanda, and Pooh from Fairly Odd Parents. We had so many people coming up like, oh my god, I can't get a photo of you. Really? Because, um, you know, when you have a baby, that adds a little authentic Everybody authenticity wants to. Everybody wants a picture with the baby. <laughs> exactly. So it was so much fun. And, and we, we met uh, the we met Gray Delisle, who was the voice of Vicky in Fairly Odd Parents. So we got to meet Carrie Elways. That's awesome. Oh, so much fun. Aw, I'm glad you had fun. I want to say, though, the Tomorrowland preview is going on in Epcot now. Have you gotten a chance to go since no, you came back? No, I haven't. But tell me you have. I have four times, literally. <laughs> How was it? I love it. It's so good. Oh, it's, <laughs> I could just, I, 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 I could go there every single day and watch it until that movie comes out because it is that good. It makes me so excited to see the movie. You want to go? I want to <laughs> go. And you know what? I want you to go, too. We got you. <gasps> Ooh. Matt was able to, uh, get an extra yes. pin for you while it was at the anal pass preview since you were out of town. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I love it so much. So there we go. Now you can go yourself. Yeah, I'll take it out of the package and hold it and then I'll be, I'll be there. I'll be there soon. All right. <laughs> well, we got some news in the queue, so let's get to that here. Star Wars, Disney Infinity, Wreck-It Ralph, and more are coming to the Disney Dream cruise ship. A newly themed area in the Oceaneer Club, open to ages 3 to 12, will take children far, far away onto the Millennium Falcon, a play area inspired by the spacecraft from the movies. There will also be a shipboard version of the Jedi Training Academy. Also in the Oceaneer Club, a high-tech interactive space based on the Disney Infinity video game will bring characters and stories to life. Kids will be able to take exclusive content with them to play in the game at home. New to Deck 11, Vanellope Sweets and Treats will feature handmade gelato and ice cream, an assortment of candy and other novelty treats for purchase. Vivity Bobbity Boutique is coming to Deck 5 midship, and finally, exclusively for adults, Deck 13 Forward will include a new water feature, Satellite Falls, a circular splash pool with benches, and a gently falling rain curtain. This wave of enhancements debuts on the Dream's October 26th voyage. I don't know how many times I, I say that I need to go on a Disney cruise. <laughs> I so know. Oh, so Maybe much. you could go for this voyage. I, we, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> we um, always say that, but <laughs> my goodness, this is a lot of enhancements. Speaking of Star Wars, did, go, sorry to go off topic. Did you see the new trailer? Did you watch the new Star Wars trailer? No, not yet. You're, oh, so you're the one person in the world that hasn't seen it yet. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I suggest watching it very soon. <laughs> I will. <laughs> but no, this sounds amazing. The thing that I'm most excited about is of course the food Vanellope's sweets and treats perfect mm. i hope the candies and stuff look exactly like they do in, the, in wreck and ralph so cute that would be amazing. i can't wait for that but definitely i mean i've been on the dream before so i think having these new things the updates is definitely going to be helpful yeah especially if you want to uh, if you're a return cruiser something, new, something new new to look forward to yeah okay. Uh, back on land, the Wild Florida attraction has launched a new ranch buggy tour. Go back in time and see the real Florida while exploring one of the state's oldest working cattle ranches on Wild Florida's all-terrain ranch buggy tour. Guests will learn all about the cattle industry and its rich history in Osceola County on the hour-long agricultural tour. Ranch buggy rides cost $30 per person and include admission to their wildlife park. The Airboat and Wildlife Park is located at the headwaters of the Everglades along the shores of Lake Cypress near Orlando. 
I still really w want to get out there and, and see this place. Um, mm -hmm. Sydney's parents are in town, and they took Spencer out one day and took her to Wild, Wild Florida. Oh, really? Did um, they have fun? They had a great time, and they said Spencer loved like seeing the birds, and she was like laughing and giggling. Aww. So I was like, oh, I wish I was there to see that. It's such a cool attraction, like something besides the busy life of theme parks, you know? Exactly. When you just want to like get away and it's a little bit more relaxing, see the natural world here. Right, see what Florida looked like before Disney and Universal and mm -hmm. all these places were built. See this old swamp lands. I think this is a great idea to go out and see. Absolutely. Learn a little thing, too. Mm -hmm. Over at Universal Studios Florida, speaking of Universal, the American Ninja Warrior TV show is looking for an audience. The series features competitors tackling an obstacle course of varying difficulty, all trying to reach the top and become an American Ninja Warrior. The course will be constructed within the streets of the New York area of the park. Filming takes place overnight, May 10th and 11th. Visit our blog for the link to sign up to be in the audience. Oh my gosh, I love American Ninja Warrior. Right? Oh, <laughs> such a good show. It is. I already signed up. I'm on the wait list to be a part of the filming. I signed up for the May 11th one because um, we're going out for you know, with you on whole Mother's Day trip trip on May 10th to Discovery Cove, mm. so I know we'll be busy that day, and since they're overnight, so I want to get a little rest, mm -hmm. but I'm, I definitely want to do it May 11th, signed up for that. It starts at like 12.30 in the morning. It's definitely overnight. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be take a long, long time, but yeah. to see that in person and see... That's see, cool. I, I'm excited that it's coming here in Orlando. I'm interested to see how it's going to be set up in New York Street. So yeah. It's going to be that one long stretch from the... Uh, Twister queue all the way down to the to lake there and where they're gonna put the audience and yeah it's, it's gonna be fun you to know see. actually just today I said to, I said Jonathan I signed us up for American Ninja Warrior and he's like I don't think I'm in shape for that <laughs> like he thought that I to was we it. were going to audition to be on it I was like no <laughs> I need a few years for that <laughs> no 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 I, I there was a there was a thing at the um, at, uh, at a zipline park we covered on the show earlier where it was very American Ninja Warrior like, where you're hanging on a rope, swinging, and then you had to grab a, a, a net climb. That sounds difficult. Oh no, <laughs> I, I couldn't hang on to the rope and I couldn't climb up a net climb, so I will never be on American Ninja Warrior, ever. We, we have other talents, it's yes, okay. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Finally this week, Universal Orlando is putting on a special 25th anniversary concert series. The concerts will be taking place on select nights May 23rd through June 20th. The series features an array of talent from Pitbull to Huey Lewis and the News, Kelly Pickler and the Goo Goo Dolls. Also performing is teen sensation Sean Mendez and Prince Royce. The performances will be held in the Music Plaza and our are included with park admission. It kind of, um, it's kind of like uh, the old summer concert series Universal used to have. They didn't have it last year, but because uh, Mardi Gras was extended, but it's kind of like they brought that back. But it's now going to be focusing on the 25th anniversary. Yeah, that's. I think it's awesome. I love when the when they have concerts that are included with admission because it yes. just makes everything so simple. You can enjoy your day, have a good mm -hmm. concert at night. I'm excited. And I'm hoping that this is just the first of many announcements about Universal celebrating their 25th anniversary. It's a big milestone, so I hope they have a lot planned for for this year. Very cool. Hi everyone. I like these kind of hidden Mickeys. They're going to stay around a while. Near the charter bus area outside of Disney's Hollywood Studios, a classic Mickey is stamped in cement. It's about nine or so benches and three light poles away from the main entrance promenade as you're heading toward the walkway to the Boardwalk Resort. Look across from the Bus 25 cement marker and sign and look down to find it. It's pretty neat, especially after a rain. It's got water in it, so have fun. I'm hungry. Yeah, well, speaking of food, did you know that the Tin Roof restaurant next to the Orlando Eye actually serves mac and cheese shaped like the eye? I didn't. Oh, oh, but did you know that Andy went to the lighting of the eye the other night? But mac and cheese actually sounds really good right now. Mm, well, I'm sure our audience would much rather watch the eye lighting ceremony than watch you eat. True. Watch this while I go get some mac and cheese. It's a rainy evening here at iDrive 360, but we're checking out the lighting of the Orlando Eye. I can't wait. I haven't been here since we saw the uh, first capsule being installed. But it sounds like it's going to be a big deal. Um, I got this. I think there's going to be a rave later. I don't know. But looking around, it looks like there's some previews of some of the other attractions. So I'm going to check that out.
So can you tell us a little bit of what are we out here today to see? This, uh, this is a bit of a monumental, it's one of our historic occasions, so it's the first time we've put the lights on the eye. Um, you know, you, you know, like living locally, you can see the structure for miles around. You drive down the I-4, you can see it come from the airport. Uh, Everywhere you, you go, can't, can't miss it. you can't miss it. Uh, this is a whole new dimension now. We're going to bring it to life at night time as well. It's going to become this like epicenter of international drive. Um, so, yeah, the lighting is a really cool part for us because it will just be make it visible at night time as well as daytime. Uh, we can't wait to see this, uh, especially as it gets a little darker out. I think it's going to look really cool. Yeah, it will. I mean, the other day I, f I flew back in um, and we flew all the way up into National Drive and just seeing it during the daytime was stunning. But it's a whole new dimension, uh, apart from looking at it at night, is the kind of the twilight time when you see Florida sunsets are beautiful. Oh, yeah. Seeing it from 400 feet up is amazing. There's so much uh, kind of lush green uh, and amazing lakes as well. So seeing the sunset and then nighttime as well is just going to be a really different dimension, I think, to come and ride as well. So cool. And we heard uh, you might have some special guests who are actually going to be doing the uh, ceremony. Yeah, we've got, um, we've, we've got some great people. We've got a Make-A-Wish family in tonight, a Miller family. Uh, so I've just been chatting to them. They're super excited, super excited about riding as well. So this is the first step for them. So at least they'll be able to switch the lights on as a family uh, and then come back and experience a, a capsule themselves as well in the not too distant future. This is a truly momentous occasion. Over the last couple of months, we've seen the outer wheel completed, the last capsule installation, and finally tonight, we have the lighting of the eye. A lot of work has gone into constructing this observation wheel, and lighting was no exception. Almost 64,000 LEDs were installed over a four-week process. These LED lights will use 92.7% less energy than traditional light bulbs. Yeah, sustainable too. The eye will have a variety of light and colour options to celebrate holidays and special occasions. We're also delighted that we've invited a Make-A-Wish family to have the honour of flipping the switch to power on the Orlando Eye 64,000 LEDs, which will illuminate the structure in bright white. The Make-A-Wish Foundation grants the wish of a child diagnosed with a life-threatening medical condition in the United States and its territories on average every 38 minutes. They believe that a wish experience can be a game changer and will enrich the child's life with hope, strength and joy. So please join me in welcoming Zach Miller and his family from Castlebury, Florida onto the stage. Okay, are you ready? Okay, before we flip the switch, just to let you know what's going to happen. Uh, so once that hits the switch, the wheel will move and begin to illuminate international drive. So is everybody ready? Not good enough. Is everyone ready? So get your cameras out and join me in counting down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Zach, let's flip that switch. Now, one last thing. We've heard uh, that Nick Walinda is supposed to be doing something with the eye coming up. Can you talk about that at all? Yeah, uh, it's, it's exciting. So, um, yeah, we've been working with Nick for some time. On the 29th, um, Nick is going to be uh, riding up in a capsule to the top, as most of us would. Uh, and then we stop the, stop the eye. He climbs out, as we wouldn't, uh, and then walks on the very top beam whilst the wheel then starts rotating. Um, so he walks for, for some distance, we stop the wheel and then he can climb back in. But it's no mean feat. I mean, I'm, I'm not a tightrope walker. Uh, this is a massive structure. It's a huge curve, like it's a 400 foot wide wheel. Um, and there's a lot of things to negotiate on your way around. So it's phenomenal. He's very, very uh, confident about it. He's obviously done a lot of, of scary stuff. Um, but yeah, it's going to be pretty phenomenal. It's a really scary feat, but yeah, we're very excited. So there it was, the official lighting of the Orlando Eye. 
It looks amazing. I cannot wait to go ride it. If you want to check it out, it's May 4th. Uh, I think the party's still going, so I want to go hang out. See you. The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation, and the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. Lisa, what was your favorite class in high school? You know, I really loved my school's drama program. Yep, me too, but did you pass your class? Yeah, why? Oh, well, just wondering because I was over at SeaWorld for the new Sea Lion High show, and Clyde and Seymour were having trouble passing their classes. Oh, well, did they pass? Hmm, well, I'll let you see for yourself. We're here at SeaWorld Orlando for the debut of Clyde and Seymour's new adventure, Sea Lion High. Now, it's all about education and exploration in a high school setting, so I probably better go brush up on my geometry before we get started here. Sea Lion High. This is the, the Klein Seymour. They're back. They got off Pirate Island and now they're in high school. So <laughs> what are guests going to see when they come to see the show? Well, guests who love Pirate Island are going to get the same experience of joy and laughter and learning along the way. Uh, but it's all new behaviors on a beautiful set. I mean, this set really makes the animals pop out. Um, you can see them. They glisten. Um, and there's a lot more water in the show. Definitely looks like it. Yeah, yeah, there's a whole lot of water. We've got waddles, water, uh, behavior, more behaviors in the water with the sea lions. There's behavior with otters on the second level uh, through water. Um, and there's water that comes out of the set and says hi to the audience as well. Yeah, I noticed the splash zone looks a bit bigger than it was in Pirate Island. <laughs> yeah, not what you expect necessarily at Sea Lion and Otter Stadium, right? Uh, it used to be a very small splash zone, but uh, a lot of people come to SeaWorld to get immersed and to get wet, so we may, we're, we're, we're appealing to their request. <laughs> and so what's the story? What what are guests, uh, what's the fun of this, uh, this show gonna be? You know, this story is set around high school. What's exciting about that is pretty much all of us can go. If you've been to high school or you're gonna go to high school, um, we can all take our imaginations into the classroom. And when we were designing the show, uh, we wanted to make sure that the animals' behaviors were just new, exciting, different, and highlighting their natural capabilities. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we took them through, we use those behaviors in different classes. So these sea lions actually find out that they need to pass a couple classes before they can graduate uh -oh. and be eligible for scholarships to Ocean University. Mm -hmm. uh, and so they, we take them through drama class, uh, science class, gym. Of course, they go to the lunchroom and, and have some antics with the lunch lady <laughs> there. So we take everybody through high school. Um, it's a great opportunity to weave in some conservation messages. Um, in, in, and it's, it's a great, fun environment you know it, it, each of our show venues uh, provides a different thing for our guests and here we expect you to be in stitches laughing and uh, have learned a little something on your way and you mentioned new behaviors you have several new behaviors for the show how long does it take to to teach these uh, the sea lions and, and everyone here these new behaviors so it, 
It depends on the animal, mm -hmm. their relationship with the trainer. So it's all based on the relationship. And a, tra a behavior might take, there are some behaviors we've been working on for three years, oh, wow. right? Oh, wow. And there are other behaviors that took a couple weeks. It depends on um, the behavior itself, the animal, and their relationship with the trainer. But what I can tell you is we train all of the animals the same way. Um, and that's not just here at Sea Lion and Otter Stadium, where you have an, a five pound otter, mm -hmm. um, five or 10 pound otter. Um, we train all the, way, uh, all the animals up to the 12,000 pound killer whale uh, the same way using positive positive reinforcement um, and all that training is starts first with a basic fundamental relationship between the trainer and the animal and then we take very small steps that we approximate and what's really cool about this show is if people come early enough um, we actually are highlighting how we train the animals we come out we talk about that a little bit Right? Well, yes, but how? They have to complete all of those classes by the last day of school. Oh, when is that? Uh, today. In today's class, I will be naming a famous movie, and you perform a scene from it. First is Jaws. Action! That's a look at the brand new Clyde and Seymour Sea Lion High Show here at SeaWorld Orlando. I loved it. So cute. I loved the little reference to the Pirate Island, too. That was really cool. So come on out. It's open every day now. Enjoy the show. Arrive early.
With all the new attractions coming to iDrive, there's sure to be a lot of traffic. So it's a good thing there's a brand new parking garage next to the Orlando Eye. The garage is huge and you can see for miles around from the top floor. Most of the attractions in the area are in walking distance and it's free to park there. Of course, the top of the garage is not as tall as the Eye, so it can be a good alternative for people afraid of heights. Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. It's time for this week's calendar. First up at Busch Gardens, their Food and Wine Festival concludes this weekend with performances by Daughtry on Saturday and Aloe Black on Sunday. The Flower and Garden Festival at Epcot will have shows by the Guess Who. Can you guess who? No, that's their name, the Guess Who. Oh. Okay. Sorry, that was a bad joke. On the 24th through the 26th. And finally, Viva La Musica kicks off this weekend at SeaWorld with a performance by Olga Tanyon on Saturday. Nice. Ten okay. Thanks. Nice. Okay, I just <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you can subscribe to our calendar at attractionsmagazine.com to stay up to date on these events and more. And now we want to thank MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for Disney World, Universal, and all your other vacation planning needs. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MEITravel.com. And much thanks to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit UndercoverTourist.com. Remember, you can watch a brand new episode of the show each week. You can also visit AttractionsMagazine.com for news and videos throughout the week. We hope you'll help support our show by subscribing to the magazine itself. Our spring issue is now available for purchase through our website, in our app, or on the Nook. Be sure to add it to your subscription order at Attractions Magazine. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got some fun stuff coming up this week. Um, we're going to be going to uh, Sea Life. We've gotten to see inside Madame Tussauds, so now we're going to go inside Sea Life and present that uh, to you next week on the show. Yep. Boathouse uh, Restaurant, new at Disney Springs. You're going to go there. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited. To yes, I can't wait to, to actually go in the water and see that. I've seen the videos. Of and the Infocars? Yes. Have you studied the menu? Of, see what you want to eat. I to have eat? not. You should. Oh, did my research. Exactly. You got to do your research. And you got to try everything. <laughs> you gotta make sure that Matt knows you gotta you I'll just, just a fast whole menu the day before. You need to try everything on there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> Viva La Musica is also starting up at SeaWorld yes, soon, so I have I to. I love Viva. Gosh, the food. Is that your favorite event at SeaWorld? You know what? I think it is. Besides Bands Brew Barbecue, Viva is so fun because the music is just such a it's just such a good atmosphere and mm -hmm. the food is mm, delicious. Well, there we go. Yes. There we go. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you'll tune in again next week. Until then, visit your local attractions, try something new, and stay safe. But most of all, have, have fun! fun. Sea Lion High. Now, it's all. It's. I, I, I had the thought and then I, my mouth just went. Did you know the Tin Roof restaurant next to the RN, or Ando? Or Ando? <laughs> <laughs> For news and the videos. <laughs> <laughs> For what? News and the videos. <laughs> I was going to say events and videos.